Today we're going to talk about one of the more popular accessories that you can add to the rail on your semi-auto pistol. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we sure appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button, the share, and more importantly, also hit the bell for instant notifications. That way you'll never miss a new video. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and partner up with us. Um, in today's video, we want to talk a little bit about accessory rails and uh, one of the more popular accessories that you can put on your pistol. So for today, I happen to bring in my Glock 19. We're safe, we're clear, no big surprises, we're all good to go here. Anyway, one of the things that you're gonna find that's become very, very common with a lot of your defensive pistols is the inclusion of the accessory rail that goes forward to the trigger guard and just underneath the muzzle. And uh, most people probably don't really give these a second look um, when they buy them, but later on, you know, they notice them and hey, it's called an accessory rail, which means we can put an accessory on it. Now, different ways to go is you can see lights, you can see lasers, um, you can even see a combo of the two. Um, between the two, I really prefer to have what we would call a white light or what's also known as a weapons mounted light. For me, it's more important to be able to completely identify a target. Um, if, if you're really interested in getting a laser, consider getting a combination with both so that you have the choice. Lasers have their place. Um, I just happen to prefer a white light. So one of the products we're gonna talk about today um, comes from a company called Olight. And Olight is one of the leaders in the particular um, in the particular field, and what we have right here is called the Olight Mini. Um, I picked this up because these are actually designed for concealed carry, and you want to make sure that you order it for the right p pistol. Very often, the uh, pistols will come with a proprietary rail, meaning that you want to make sure you get the one that's right for the particular pistol. Um, and the way these go on is it's got a little toggle right here that allows you, once you put it on the gun, to tighten it down so it stays firmly on the gun. Now, they also have switches, right hand or left hand, and you can see how these things work. And it works with a momentary flash. Push it down, it goes on, let it go, it comes off. And you can see that for righties or for lefties, you have a switch on both sides. So this one's called the Valkyrie PL Mini, and it fits up underneath the, the Glock, which I brought in with me. Now, the nice thing about this also is this is what's called a sealed system. This comes with a rechargeable battery rather than having to feed it fresh batteries every time it runs out. Now, the way the the recharger works is this has actually got a magnet which actually locks right onto here and then what you would do is you can plug this into a USB. You can um, run this off a wall charger like if you've got a, uh, uh, an iPhone. You can take the little uh, cord out of it and plug this in or you can even run this off the side of your computer. You're going to get a better charge though if you run it right off of the wall socket with your little um, Mac plug-in. And it's got an indicator light, red or green. It'll tell you, uh, basically it'll give you a clue when it's empty. It'll start, uh, it'll be red if when the battery needs to be recharged, and it'll go green when it's got a full charge. And they recommend that every month you put this on the charge just to make sure that it's got a full charge and it works when you need it. So to install these, you want to start by taking the clamp off. It's going to go onto the pistol. It's going to clamp on, move the toggle to the rear, and then it's nice and secure. That's how it should look. Now, you can also see where the switch is right here in front. 
Now, if you're going to be using a tactical light, it requires a, a different type of training to make sure that you're using it correctly. But what you want to do in a nutshell is just use a momentary flash. What you don't want to do is have the light on all the time so that you actually telegraph your location. And, you know, we'll get into how do you do uh, uh, night training maybe in another video, but um, you want to make sure that you don't leave the light on all the time. That's your bottom line. So you can pick up something like the Olight Mini, um, generally about $100, maybe a little bit less. Um, you want to check out their warranty information. You can return it directly to the factory within 60 days. After that, um, you have to send it in yourself. So anyway, in an earlier video, we were talking a little bit about holsters. Now, the beauty of the Olight Mini was it was designed for concealed carry. Um, you're going to notice that there are other companies out there like Surefire, which make, you know, larger lights that may protrude past the muzzle. Um, I like the PL Mini because it sits flush with the muzzle and it's fairly small. It has, um, uh, I think I want to say about 400 lumens is what they advertise. 400 lumens, which is pretty bright. But if you are going to be getting a weapons light, to go on your pistol, you also want to make sure that you spend the time to get a holster that will accept it. Now, the, the Olights and the Surefires are going to be the two industry leaders which you're most likely to be able to find a holster which is actually made for them. And we talked earlier about holsters where you want to make sure that when you get a holster, you get one that's actually molded to the pistol and gives you a precise fit. This particular holster is from a European company called Kraft Holsters, and we're giving them a try. I want to say the holster probably ran me about $80, and they're made to order, they're made to fit, so you're going to have a lead time. Sometimes I want to say four to five weeks to get it in the mail. But they, had, uh, they offered great service. They let me know when the holster was made. They let me know when the holster shipped. They provided tracking so I'd know exactly when it was going to show up. Now, like a lot of holsters that I prefer, is this one also comes with a thumb brake. So this comes with, you know, what I would call active retention, meaning if you need to uh, actually draw the pistol, you use your thumb to open it up prior to draw. But if it's locked in, you don't have to worry about the gun coming loose if for some reason you should trip and take a spill. So the gun stays secure on your body even if you are doing, you know, some sort of matrix ninja flip through the air, which I don't do. Um, but anyway, you can see that this is a good fit. It doesn't take up a whole lot of extra room on your belt, and it is a really good accessory because many encounters where you may need to defend yourself actually happen at night. It's also one of those good accessories if you're going to be having a gun that you would leave on a nightstand so that you can identify your target. The one thing I want to stress though is if you're going to be getting a weapons mounted light, you also get the training on how to use it. It adds another level of protection, but it also adds another level of training to become competent with it. So, once again, we just want to talk a little bit about the weapons light. This one's, like I said, from Olight, and um, we haven't had a chance to use it a whole lot, so I can't really give you uh, an in-depth review on it. Later on, once we spend more time with it, we may come back and do that again. This is the very basics when it comes to having a weapons light on your, your pistol. Hey, we want to thank you very much for stopping in again and watching us on Shooter. We appreciate you uh, subscribing. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Check out the information box below for the various products that we've talked about. Y'all take care.